Football, without exaggeration, is one of the most popular sports in the world watched by millions of people across the globe on a daily basis. However, sometimes fans are treated to something they never saw coming, whether it be nature, spectators, or an occasional series of strange circumstances. When either of these come into play, it leads to some unexpected surprises that will be remembered for a long time to come. Ready to take a look? Let's get it on! Sometimes in football, things just get a little too close for comfort. I guess that's what this team was thinking when they decided to huddle together inside their own goal. After all, this indirect free kick was happening from just 16 feet away. Still, it's not really an excuse to turn into a real-life Looney Tunes cartoon. All heck breaks loose the moment the kick happens, with everyone scrambling over each other, and if you watch closely, you might even spot a moment or two which kids probably shouldn't see. You might not know this, but drinking water is an incredibly dangerous thing for a goalkeeper to do. Why? Because they always seem to have their backs turned when they're doing it. You'd think they'd know. It seems especially strange to do that when the match is just turned around and the opposition is racing toward the goal, like this Duisburg goalkeeper did. At least the Chongqing goalkeeper thought they'd stopped playing. The best part about both clips, though, is how they freeze when they realize what they've done. It's hilariously hopeless. Stretcher bearers are saviors in a match, always there to act swiftly and help the injured. That makes this performance even weirder. They look haphazard from the start, but when they start carrying Leonardo Kutris off, it turns into a full-on slapstick routine where one starts tripping over nothing and dragging the other guy down with them. Then the Laurel and Hardy wannabes finish off their routine by just dropping the stretcher holding the injured player to the ground while one dusts his hands off as if to say job well done. Kutris literally would have been better off if he'd limped off himself. It's always fun to watch people do something that was clearly a lot cooler in their head. This guy obviously imagined a stunning, even slightly heroic moment where he parachutes onto the field in the middle of this match, with everyone cheering him on as he raced off the pitch after his landing. Instead, what he got was a couple people laughing, a few uninterested footballers, and a line judge shouting at him like a school teacher while he fumbled around trying to pick up his gear. Some things just aren't what you hope they'll be. As a coach, you probably think you're in a pretty safe position, except for the occasional angry fellow coach. But you never anticipate something like this. This is Frankfurt's captain David Abraham intentionally knocking over Freiburg's coach Christian Streich. One thing's for sure, an offense like that is much more obvious when it's not committed against another player. And because everyone knows what you've done, it's much more likely to start a fight, which it did. But that won't surprise anyone. It was bound to happen just as much as that red card. There are plenty of skills on display in any professional football match, but one thing you really don't see very often is an overhead kick goal. But this Thai football team is here to fix that with two for the price of one. Yep, that's two players opting for a bicycle kick goal attempt at the same moment, and they actually succeed as well. You probably won't ever see a moment like that in football again. You're probably a football fan, but do you remember the first time you saw a game played? This kangaroo had that moment when it hopped onto the field during an Australian National Premier League match. It was obviously dazzled by what it saw and decided it just had to join in. Unfortunately, it wasn't very good. You can't really blame it. It was its first time playing, but it probably shouldn't have been trying to play with the best teams in the country. Still, you can't fault its determination to join in. Matches are called off for all sorts of reasons, but this one really is worth talking about. This Bahia State Championship match between Vitoria and Bahia descended into chaos after Vinicius danced around the field when Bahia scored a penalty. It turned into a full-on 16-minute fight with punches thrown. Eight players were sent off and the match continued, right up until Vitoria had two more players dismissed. The match was abandoned with more cards on the match sheet than you've ever seen in a single match. Watch this one closely. Some kind of witchcraft was going on in this match. Watch this moment when Stefan Kaisling scored. The crowd goes wild, but something there was weird, right? How did it get past Cohen Castiles? He was right there. And watch again. It was outside the goal, and then it was a goal. What happened there? A phantom goal? Sorcery? Actually, he missed the goal, and look at him, he knew it. The ball entered the goal from the side net. It shouldn't have been a goal, but it was awarded anyway. Lucky break, but not for the other team. Dogs just love balls, so I guess this was bound to happen one day. This excited puppy makes its way into a stadium during the middle of a football match, and no matter what anyone tried, it was determined to join in the fun. The only problem is, dogs don't really understand the rules of this game, which is probably why the offside flag didn't stop it from running around. All the players gathered together to try and chase it off the field, so it settled for a belly rub and left. 
This isn't just a weird moment in football, it's a weird moment in human history. Usually humans will do whatever they can to avoid being hurt. Not Brian Carrasco though. My question is what the hell? He had an idea you see. He thought it would be great to get one of his opponents sent off and get a free kick to boot. But how do you do that? Apparently the best way is to grab your opponent's hand and punch yourself in the face with it. Nobody was fooled. Everyone knew he wasn't being attacked but was just behaving like a crazy person and he got nothing out of it but a sore eye. Referees are there to be the cold, hard voice of reason. The eyes that spot the truth among the chaos of a match. You definitely wouldn't expect them to start joking around in the middle of a match. So what is this ref giving Kaka a yellow card for? To get a selfie with him, obviously. That's a totally normal way to do that. You'll be pleased to know that this was a charity match, so it was all in good fun. Made even more fun by Kaka's teammates who shook her hand after. It's so great to watch footballers pull off a difficult maneuver effortlessly, but it's also seriously entertaining to watch them get something completely wrong. During this charity match, Abreu and De Alessandro decided to attempt a clever fake-out double penalty, clearly thinking they'd executed as effectively as Messi and Suarez. That's not exactly what happened, though. Just imagine them. It's no wonder all that came out of it was a grown man sitting on the grass and throwing a little tantrum. They probably won't be trying that trick again soon. Even in a world of unusual things, this is really strange. You just don't expect a swarm of bees on a corner flag to delay a football match. Why do the bees like that flag so much anyway? I guess only they can answer that, so we'll never know. How do you get rid of bees on a corner flag? With a fire hose, apparently. Well, when they sting you, it kind of feels like fire, so you should get rid of them the same way, I guess. Well, there's a type of logic there anyway. We all know that football fields have to be well looked after, but this might be taking it a step too far. This match between OH Leuven and Genk was interrupted late into the second half when the sprinklers went off, and the players seemed to love it. Who can blame them so late into the match? Still, I'm pretty sure that whoever forgot to turn off the automatic sprinkler system probably won't have a job on the next match. The kangaroo won't seem like such a bad player when you see this hopeful animal. This cow found its way onto the field during a friendly match in Bulgaria. You'd think it walked on to munch on the juicy green grass, but it doesn't actually seem interested, and it just walks around for no reason instead. It's not even trying to play. And then of course everyone gets the idea that they're going to be a footballer, and soon a dog has joined the team too, and he doesn't have any skills either. <laughs> Worst team ever. Penalty shootouts are always tense, but this one stood out for a bizarre reason. This match between Thailand's Bangkok Sports and Satri Yangthong was stuck in a tie break at 2-2, and still in a deadlock with 19-19 in its penalty shootout. And this was the last available penalty taker, the decider for the match. So when the ball bounces off the crossbar, I guess it makes sense that the goalkeeper wanted to celebrate, even though he didn't technically do anything. Still, he must have felt pretty embarrassed for leaving his post when this happened. Boy, that escalated quickly.